Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a quiz-like slide using Google Slides. Sometimes you want to put a question in between your slides to check your students' understanding. This is the boring way of doing that. Here is just a question in the title and then four bullet points as answers. Let's change that. I'm going to insert shape like this i can modify the corner using this yellow controller i can change the outline color and also the fill color from the top menu over here let's pick this one in addition we can add some special effects to it but first let's type the text double click on the shape you will be able to type the text inside you can also modify the size and the color of the font here it is i will also type letter a to indicate this is answer a All right, here we can explore some additional effects. Maybe drop shadow. There are a few sliders that can control this special effect. We can change the angle. reduce the distance and modify opacity of the shadow. All right, that's good enough. Now I can simply copy this shape. So I'm using shortcut, Command or Control C and then Command or Control V. So I can make four copies for four answers. Now I can modify the text. And I think it would be, it would be a good idea to change the color as well. So there are two ways to pick the answer. You can pick it by letter, or maybe for younger learners, they can just tell you the color. All right, we can delete bullet points now. We got our answers inside shapes. Look more like a quiz. So our viewers, our learners will be more engaged and more likely answer our question. Now the question itself, we can modify it slightly, maybe align to the center change the font size. In addition, you can also use some special effect on the keyword from this question. Like for me, communication device. I will make it bold like this. All right, now we need to create an animation that will show us the correct answer. I'm going to select wrong answers, holding shift one, two, and three. You can select multiple objects by holding shift. Now I will add animation. Here it is, I got three animations. I need to change animation for each object. I don't want this object to appear, I want this object to disappear. So we need to make animation out. There are a few different effects to pick. The most important part is to pick the one that will make the object disappear, not appear on the screen. All right, we need to change that for each object. So I will need to change this also for the yellow and the red answer. All right, this one is working. Now I move to the yellow answer and the same process. I need to change animation to be out. 
I want this object to disappear after I click. Okay, let's test it out. Here's my slide, it looked like a quiz. And after I click, wrong answers disappear. I got my question and the correct answer. It's super important for your learners to see that. So don't rush to the next question. After wrong question answer disappear, please stay for a moment on that slide so your learners can memorize the correct one. Now we can simply right click on this slide and duplicate it. This way we don't need to do it. From beginning we can reuse the same slide and just change the question, modify answers. In my case the text will stay the same but I need to change my animation so different answer will stay on the screen. I go to animations and I'm going to remove all animations first. So let's just delete them all, just in case to not make any silly mistake. And now I will select all wrong answers at once, holding shift, add animation, and like previously I need to change in animation to out animation. I want objects to disappear. You need to change it for each object, not only once, so you must go through all three. And here it is, we got new animation, so now different answers should stay on the screen. Let's give it a go, let's do a test run. First slide, the second one. Correct, and the duplicate. Nice, different answer stays on the screen. All right, exactly what we need. There is also true and false question here. We can use similar technique to make this slide more attractive for our learners. So I can get rid of these bullet points. Instead of that, I will insert shape like previously, maybe this time circle. We got just two answers here, so we can go with circle. Double click to type the text inside. You can modify alignment of the text. Align to the center. Let's make the font much larger. Instead of solid color, let's use gradient in this case. Like this. White text will be the best, I think. Yeah, pure white. We need high visibility of this. All right, we got one, we can just copy and paste. So I just use my keyboard shortcut, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, copy and paste. Select them both, reposition, and I can modify the second one to be false. So change the text. And we also need to change the fill color. Go to gradients and pick the red one. We got two big buttons, two or false. Let's modify the question itself. I can highlight the keyword from the question. And now the final step we need to make the wrong answer to disappear after a click. So I will add animation to the wrong answer and I need to change animation from in to animation out. Let's try. And after I click, the wrong answer disappear. Nice. It's more attractive for our viewer, our listeners. 
So they will answer our question more likely. All right, we got one more thing. There's one more question here that we can modify to make it more attractive. I got three answers, but actually the original intention behind this question was to check that students can select the correct icon. So instead of text answer, I will replace them with visual answers. All right, so in this question, instead of text, we're going to use visuals. So instead of name of the software, I will simply copy images All right, so I just copy and paste three icons. I replace my text answers with three icons. This way my question is more accurate. I'm checking that my students, my viewers are able to recognize the correct icon. So I got my question, I got my three answers in form of graphic elements. Now, very similar process, we will make wrong answer disappear. So I select two objects. Hmm, maybe before that, I should add some letters below so we can have some indicator which answer is which. We don't need to point in the middle one, left one, we can put letters there. This will be easier to our viewers, especially in like online learning to point the correct answer. So I got A, B, and C. I'm using word art for this one. So I went simply went to insert and then word art. After you double tap, double click on word art, you can modify the content inside. In my case, it's just one letter. All right, I got A, B, C. Now I select wrong answers, both images and letters, and I'm going to add animation. Now we need to change our in animation to out animation like previously. All right, there's one more little thing I want to add. I want text to appear at the end of the question. After the question is solved, the name of the software will appear. That will be very helpful for slow learners. So extra text with the name of the software that is the correct one, correct answer. Not only the icon, but also the name will appear, but at the end of the quiz, at the end of this question, after we solve it. So to be sure this is invisible at the beginning, I will add animation. And this animation will play after everything else. All right, this is the last one. And this is in animation, so this will appear, not disappear. As a final touch, we can add transitions. Transitions are little animations in between slides. They happen in between. All right, let's test everything from beginning. We got multiple choice question here. After you click, only the correct answer will stay on the screen. This one is the duplicate. Now we got true or false, very similar. The wrong answer will disappear. And the last one, we got visuals answers. So similar way, wrong answer disappear. And in addition, additional word, the name of the software appear at the end. All right. So this is the way that you can turn your question in your slideshow to be more attractive for your viewers. It's more like quiz-like questions. So they, it will grab their attention and they will get ready to give you some answers. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial.